Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends. We are on Greta's account with the Gallifrey clan. The number one clan in Raid Shadow Legends probably has been the top clan in Raid Shadow Legends since before any of us even knew about it. Way back in beta and everything else. But this is a world first clear of stage 21 in Faction Wars. Stage 21. Okay, don't look at me and go, Stu, I'm not interested in this video. Look at these characters that he has. Look, they're, they're redoing Faction Wars. There is no other way to do it. This is a miracle that Greta can do Faction Wars 21 anyways. Right now that you can see even this going on right now is still a, mi a miracle, right? Now I have all these guys set up to show you their stats. We can do that later on. Basically the tower is the fastest. Richard, he's the fastest one. And then these guys, the certain nicks are actually kind of slow, but it's just, you know, you can see what happens here. Then you see the Venus with the, with the weaken and the decreased defense and the burns. It's crazy. You martyr in here. I know, I know. So what else do we have to talk about the rest of this time? Basically, I kind of just want to talk about my journey in YouTube, all the YouTubers out there, all my patrons, all my supporters, people like Greta who send me stuff all the time to do videos about, to, to do draws, and to tell you just like how this all kind of started with me. So let's let's just kick, kick, let's kick it off because I don't know what else to talk about while we're watching this. This is an 18 minute video, but I think talking about something about YouTube worth and Raid Shadow Legends worth might be a little interesting to somebody out there. So basically I was doing YouTube. I Well, I wasn't even doing YouTube. I had two clans in Raid Shadow Legends and I was running my own Discord. And I was always having fun watching other people's videos in Raid and I was like, well, why don't I just start doing it myself? And luckily I have a friend called Vulcan Games. He's an Australian <laughs> and we talk about twice a week on the phone, if not more, it just depends. A great guy, right? And before I even got into doing YouTube, we used to play Might and Magic Elemental Guardian. We used to play Skylander Ring of Hero app game. And he's just a real active person in doing so. If you watch AFK Arena, go watch Vulcan Games. He is like the leader in AFK Arena stuff. He just has blown up and is a super great guy. Anyways, he showed me all the stuff to do on YouTube, right? How to monetize, how to get it going. Any questions I needed to know, Vulcan was there for me to help me out. Otherwise, it's a pretty hard endeavor to get into, right? You're not sure wh what's right, what's wrong, what will do well for you, what won't do well for you. And it's always the best, of course, in anything you get into to have like a mentor, right? To have somebody who's experienced it, who's been through it before. And Vulcan did that for me. Again, fantastic guy. Thank you so much, Vulcan, for everything you've done for me and still do for me to this day. So then we get into Raid Shadow Legends, right? This community is amazing. We have so many great people out there. People who are like givers, people who are talkers, people who love to get involved, people who just love the game and the community. And it makes it like, you know, 500 times better to have a community like this to play a game because sometimes there's slow times in the game. You're not really into it as much. And those kind of people, the community brings it all together and keeps you going, keeps you involved. So some of the top influencers that I've met that I hope I don't miss anybody because I've got like this list, right? Let's go over here and look at them. <laughs> I'm going to shout out to my patrons real quick. Jack Newton, Jason Kelly, Pierce Barber, Skeptic Llama, and Stephen Combs are all my patrons. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you so much for supporting me like everybody else does. By watching this video alone, you are supporting me 100%. Thank you so much for these other guys. You know, it just makes it amazing. I also want to talk about, you know, there are the other YouTubers out there that I talk to on a daily basis, if not a few times a week. Kizzle is a big one. You know you've seen me and Kizzle do a lot of stuff together. Fantastic guy. Kizzle and I just, we, we kick it off. We get along. We, you know, we talk about anime. We talk about <laughs> working out. We talk about anything, man. Family, you know, we're both family men. Wife, kids. It, it's great. It's great. So, it's always good to talk to Kizzle. Always, always fun to have somebody like that to do videos with, bounce off ideas with. Another one is Dark Microtransaction. Dark Microtransaction has always been there for me if I needed to ask any questions or anything that's going on. And I talk to him on a regular basis too. I pop into all their streams all the time. I try to say, hey, see what's going on, get involved with them. And anytime I've had any kind of equipment discussions or, or questions, I go to DM and he's good to go, man. He's always ready to help out at any turn. DM is a great guy. And then there's lots of others. So I'm going to go down the list here of other people that I talk to fairly regularly. Um, Borrow Gaming is one of them. Cold Brew Gaming, Feist Gaming, I've talked to him quite a few times. Now these are these are mainly YouTubers that also stream as well. Also Jay Giggs. Jay Giggs just recently came out with a video and I want to ask him if I could do a spotlight on that video about a huge, go to Jay Giggs if you don't know. It's just J-G-I-G-S, right? 
and he did a video on a Polarium board meeting, a skit. He did a skit and it is hilarious. It's only got 744 views that I can see right now, but we need to blow that up because if you haven't seen that, believe me, you will laugh. It is very good. So Jay Giggs, if you're hearing this, get a hold of me. I'm trying to contact you on Discord so I can see if I can just do a clip of it, do a video and get that out there to the more people so that they, you know, go to your station and actually watch the whole thing, right? Go to your, go to your YouTube. Whew. And then there are also everybody else on here streaming wise, right? We've got, let me see if I can pull all this up. We've got uh, JRM used to stream a lot. It, lately, he's been doing other streams besides Raid Shadow Legends. We've got Miss Sally. We've got uh, <laughs> Dude Fluff, Duff Bill. We have, who else do we have? We have, we have um, Scratch AK47. We have, where's my boy? <laughs> Where is, I don't even see him right now. Where are you at? Did he change his name? I think he changed his name. Where did, Verdi, where did you go? Verdi might have changed his name to match his name on there. So Verdi's on there as well. There are a whole bunch of others, other ones that help us out in stream. I'm sorry, I'm looking up. I'm looking at a list <laughs> that, are, that are like, uh, who do we got? We've got our wingmen, right? We've got our goose to our, our Mavericks out here. We got Gagimon, we got Solastro. We've, we've got them all. So great people, right? And all of you who talk to me, I've got I've got viewers that talk to me on a you know every other day basis, ask me how it's going, what's going on with the fam, you know, and it's nice. It's nice to have people out there supporting you. It's nice to have people out there getting involved. And, and I'm telling you, without these people, we just we wouldn't enjoy the game as much. We just wouldn't. And, it, and it's amazing how awesome all these people are. And they're ready to talk to you. They're ready to talk to you on a day to day basis, on a week to week basis, whenever they can fit in the time. They're busy too. You know, they have lives, they have family, they have real jobs. Some of them all that kind of stuff, but they still take the time out to talk to all of us to enjoy this game together and just make this community amazing. So I started out with YouTube and that's, that's how it started. I started out just doing a few videos after, sorry, I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody I could. Man, I really hope I didn't miss anybody at all. I hope I didn't. If I missed you, I'm sorry, I'm looking down my list. There are a lot of people out here and these are the people that I talk to often. So if it's somebody I didn't mention, then it's somebody I just don't talk to, right? That or I really did miss him. But I'm looking at my list. I'm pretty sure I got everybody. Murder Inc's on here as well. I saw him streaming as well. Murder Inc used to be in my alliance a long time ago on our clan. Great guy. So there's a lot of them. And then all the mods too. All the mods I've met while doing Raid Shadow Legends stuff. Great guys over the time. You know, we all talk. It's just, it's just amazing. It's amazing to do this. So I started doing it now that I've got all that out of the way. I started doing it for a while just, just for fun, right? Daily uploads because whenever I do something, I want to make sure I do it right. If you're going to do it, if you're going to do YouTube, and if you have the time, of course, you got to be consistent. You got to do daily uploads. And then if you do have the time, try to do more than one upload a day. If you have the content to support it or people helping you to support it, whatever you can do, because the way I feel about it is people want something to watch, right? They want to watch something about Raid Shadow Legends, no matter what it is. Now, I'm not saying put up crappy content all the time, but my content isn't always good. I mean, I'll be the first one to admit it. There's, there's some of my content that's just not good. And that's just that's just the whole process, right? You learn. I'm sure my content is a little bit better than it used to be when I first started, because when I first started, I had zero subscribers. I had 1000 subscribers from Call of Duty five years ago that were dead subscribers, not even real subscribers. So nobody to actually watch my video. So when I started, even though I said a thousand on my channel, because my channel is super old, it was it was nobody. So I started from scratch and I just networked. You know, I got out there, I talked to everybody, I made videos and I just stayed consistent with it. I just started, you just keep making videos. Some days you're gonna feel like, man, I don't know what to make videos about, but that's okay. Get out there and just do something because eventually you're gonna, you're gonna evolve, you're gonna improve and you're gonna get better and better, which I hope I get there one day. You know, we're always evolving and improving. I by no means think I'm a great YouTuber, but I do have fun doing it, so I keep doing it. And you guys support me, so hey. <laughs> What can you do? If I'm having fun and you guys are supporting me, then it's it's a match made in heaven. I love it. I love doing it. So it gives me something to do. It really keeps me motivated on a daily basis to get out, get up, shave every day, shave my face. I'm sure my, my wife likes it a lot more because I used to, you know, shave every couple days or maybe I'd go a week and then you've got like a scruffy beard and you got little, little hairs like Homer Simpson and I look 20 years older, which isn't a good look for me at all. So she thanks you for sure. My wife does to give me this to do. You know, it does bring in some income that we can spend on the game itself or that we can use for other things. That's good as well. So, <laughs> you know, I started doing it and I kept doing it. Again, if anybody wants to do YouTube, any of you can do YouTube. Don't be shy. You just got to get on there and do it. That's all it's about. 
Get on there and do it part time. Get on there and do it when you get home. Just make videos about stuff that you enjoy doing. And if you have a passion for it, then eventually one day it might turn into something that you can do as a you know, full time income for yourself, for your family. You know, you never know. You never know till you get out there and do it and just do it for a long time. I'm going to tell you right now, I got lucky. A lot of people I talk to who do YouTube, it takes them a long time to break into a game that they can actually get views on a very long time. Some people will be out there making videos for for years and you don't even know about them. They only have like a couple hundred views on their videos. So any of those names that you heard me say before, any of these videos that you see me do where I mention any other YouTubers or streamers, please check them out. All you gotta do, it, do, it doesn't hurt to like go, I'm looking up because I can see my streams and stuff. It doesn't hurt to always go to their streams and hit follow, right? That doesn't hurt you to hit follow. You can always follow anybody. You can always subscribe to anybody. You don't necessarily have to watch their stuff every day, just like you probably don't watch me every day, but it's always good to get out there. Help them out, give them the subs, give them the follows on Twitch, and just you know help out the community because you never know these people might turn into one day be the best youtuber you've ever seen and you'll want to watch them all the time you just never know so help support them help them grow because without that support here we are on the boss that means we're getting down on time we've, well i guess he fought the boss for about seven minutes so greta you've been doing amazing and i've been talking my lips off so i don't even know what's going on but look at here we're looking at the boss you know the stage 21 boss is going to be crazy it's going to be insane block block damage buff okay it's gonna be a hard fight regardless even though he's got three two two one kill we'll, we'll watch it unfold we'll see how it plays out i'm sure whittle the balls down slowly and stay alive i mean that's the way it always is right <laughs> we'll have to see if there's some kind of strat here cernic is insane I, I don't know if they're gonna bring him back if they do it will be crazy there's a volume button okay so so yeah, so that's why I started and that's why I continue to do YouTube because of all you guys out there because of also all the other content creators. I can't believe, you know, usually you think you're going to meet these other content creators and they're going to be, they're going to, you know, th there are those types out there. They're going to be like, oh, I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to talk to you because they're worried about us coming up and impeding on their status or their subscribers or anything like that. But my thought is, no matter what, if people like you, if people enjoy watching you and they enjoy watching other people, there's no reason to only have one person, right? There's no reason that somebody should ever be subscribed to just me. If you're subscribed to Just Do Gaming, please go out, check out those other YouTubers out there. There's no reason to only have me because you never know what you might find. You never know what you might see. You might like the way that they bring you content in the way of a guide. They might they might pop out something one day like Cold Brew Gaming did with me with doing the... Um, the uh auto clicker for the pc version you just never know what might happen so and i don't even know all these youtubers that are out there sometimes i have to search really search and find them because the algorithms and everything else they don't always just stand out they don't always pop out to you so unless they have a popular video or there's been a lot of you know activity on their videos lately then we don't necessarily get to see them in search functions and if you're only subscribed to one person you might not be searching so if you're not searching then you're only seeing that one that one content creator and if you have the time to view other people, then you're going to want to view other people. So go out there, find other people, view other people, give them the support that they need. And I try to do the same thing. I'm subscribed to all these people. I watch their videos when I have the time to watch their videos. And if I don't have the time to watch their videos, I talk to them as often as I can. A couple times a day, I see what's going on with them. If, if, if they ever ask me any questions, I'm on it. Like, yeah, I'll try to help you out. What You want a video ideas, you want other ideas, do never be afraid to do a video that you've already seen. If somebody did a video out there, doesn't mean you can't do that video because other people watch you, other people watch them. So never be afraid to do a video. Always do it, no matter what. Because you might have a slightly different take on whatever you're saying, and you might say it in a different way that other people might like. So always do that, always do that with YouTube. So here we are, we're, we're about four months in for me. We are, we are about four months into YouTube for me. And I love it. I love it, man. I cannot complain. I love it. I love getting on here and just hitting the record button and talking. First, it's really good for me because if you don't all know, I'm in Japan, right? So you probably know by now. I'm on the east side of Tokyo, right outside the Tokyo city limits, right, right at Matsudo, Matsudo, Japan, right? So I don't speak Japanese. My wife speaks perfect English. She went to school. She went to college in Reno for many years, seven years, I believe. And then you know we come we come here with our children right to raise our children we have a family home here a very big family home so i don't speak japanese and i don't i don't ever have a need to which is which is my my issue my fault for not studying and learning japanese since i'm here in japan been here for over three years 
I should know more Japanese than I know. But my, my kids speak both Japanese and English perfectly. They're only five and seven, but they both can speak it no problem. They can even translate for me. Now that they're getting older, getting them to translate for me is much easier. When they were younger, it's kind of hard. And then my wife takes care of all the stuff that we need to with the phone company or if I need internet that I got back here in the room, all those kind of things. She takes care of all that for me, so I don't have to speak Japanese, but I also wasn't speaking a ton amount of English either because I was just talking to my kids, talking to my wife. It wasn't like I was having conversations with people. So this is kind of my, this is kind of another reason why I enjoy doing YouTube because I got, I have the opportunity to talk almost like I'm talking to somebody, having a conversation with somebody, which I am having a conversation when I'm on, you know, Twitch with Kizzle or I'm online with Kizzle or I'm talking to DM about something or anybody else that I'm on there with doing collab videos with those people then i get a chance to talk right because i'm telling you before when i was here for a couple years i feel like i wasn't even using proper english anymore or or, or having conversations when, when people would come here to visit me my dad my mom my sister came they would come to visit us here in japan and i feel like i just wasn't even ready to have conversations with people because i haven't you know done that in such a long time and me doing this is really fun because i feel like i get to you know practice you know it's something that a foreigner would say honestly that a foreigner would be like i want to speak english i want to do english videos so i can practice my english well you know what i'm not a foreigner but it, it helps it really helps because when you stop doing something for a long time you get you get rusty at it right you get really rusty at it so therefore that's that's it i mean i love playing app games i've played app games forever if you name it turn-based i've probably played it way back to summoners wars forever dc legends was a great turn-based game that was neglected by warner brothers you know I've, I've named all the rest of them you know them all and i'm just waiting for the next big one to come out so i can do videos with raid shadow legends i'm not trying to replace raid shadow legends because we all love raid shadow legends that's why we're here watching this video holding my finger up but i do want a second game to do i want a second game you've seen me try to play ooh la la i was into that for like a week and then it was like ah that game's really boring i've tried to play any app game you can see out there i've actually downloaded it and i've played it i don't do a review on all those games that i do that i download i don't i don't do a review because i don't know, i've got to really be into a game to to want to play it to want to show you and to get involved with you i don't want to just do a first impressions videos to where you know i play it for 10 minutes because i don't feel like i even get to know the game then and some of them aren't even worth 10 minutes of play you get into it for five minutes and right away you know if you've been playing as many games as i have and you've been around as long you know you're like this game just isn't for me the, the mechanics of the game the art style and the art style for me isn't a big a big no-go I, I don't care about the art style if the mechanics are good like summoners wars if the balancing is good the content is there and the mechanics are good i'm all about it i could care less what it looks like but it's hard to find games nowadays you know epic seven is a great one too to play if i if i if i were to play any other game it would definitely probably be epic seven or summoners wars or something along those lines because those are kind of the only type that are like raid shadow legends that they grip me right that i really get involved with and enjoy doing but i did those for so long for so so long so it's hard to get back into them marvel strike force was was, an, was another one that I loved, I played for a full year, had an amazing account and just fell out of love with it because the way it was managed. So I don't know, I'm looking for one other game that I really love and I'm hoping Diablo Immortal is gonna be it. I'm hoping Diablo Immortal comes out. The greatest thing about Diablo 2 is that it looks like Raid Shadow Legends, right? So it's not gonna be a bad thing to play and it's not gonna be a bad thing. I'll keep with my daily uploads of, of Raid, of course, but then I'll have another game to showcase. Well, it looks like we're coming to an end. So thank you so much for everybody who watched this. I, I don't know. If all my rambling about everything, if you guys stuck through and watched this or not, but you might have muted me and just watched the game, which is fine as well. I don't blame you. If you muted me and watched just this battle, world first, Greta with Gallifrey clan, the number one clan that has been the number one clan forever. Thank you so much, Greta. I just want to say thank you. I don't even know if you've made it that this long, Greta, because this is your video, so you've already seen this, right? But I do want to say thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything you guys do let's see if i can pause it right here yeah we got look at that one two a five star a five star glyph so i mean if you can start getting the six star speed glyphs it's going to be insane even a five star hp glyph or any of those things but who wants to do close to 20 minute manuals three times a day and then also you get a manual your ultra nightmare clan boss maybe i don't know because greta looks like greta has some amazing account stuff here so maybe not but who really wants to go through all that time I'm very thankful that Greta did this, but you know, 
I, I hope they change it. I hope they change it to where if you have a martyr and then other 60s, you should be able to do this boss encounter. I do not agree that it should take all this stuff. We all agree on that. We know that. And we know that they're making changes to it. But will they make enough changes to it that you could bring in somebody like a martyr and four other 60s and make it this far. We will have to see on that. We'll have to see what Polarium's gonna do about it. We'll have to see what everybody, you know, we'll have to play test it after that. But again, Greta, Gallifrey, all you guys out there, thank you so much. Thank you for everybody who I mentioned in this video. And if anybody I forgot, <laughs> I'm deeply sorry, believe me, from the bottom of my heart. Hit me up online if you guys ever need any help on Discord. If you wanna start doing YouTube and you have any questions, of course, hit me up as well. Just start out with that sentence, Stu. I wanna get into YouTube. What do I need to do? What can you help me with? And I will hit you back for sure, as well as Twitch, even though I don't know Twitch that well because I don't do it that often, but we can figure it out together, no problem. Again, I love you all. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all in a video soon. All right, I'm back. I almost forgot to show you guys the stats of these champions. Greta, here you go. Here's here's Greta's account, as along with the Richard. Look how fast this Richard is. Crazy fast. Here is Venus, which is amazing champion. I'd love to have her. I really would. Look at the gear we've got on Venus. We've got Lifesteal here. We have the Sir Nick. This is the slower Sir Nick. There's another faster one we're going to see in just a minute. And we have Martyr. Martyr at speed right here for clan boss, Greta said. And then we also have the other Sir Nick, which is really fast. And all this gear on. Whoa, look at all these other champions. Beautiful. <laughs> all these void champion and void duplicates. Oh, wow. Wow, Greta, you have an amazing account. Okay, guys, I'm out. I just wanted to come back and show you that. I'll see you all in the next video.